them. And honestly, it's on been stream, I speak and English, but also Czech. Thank you for understanding during the video and enjoy it. Comment, format, like, and subscribe is always I welcome. It will help. Seen this from them many times on Split so far. We hey, know that they love doing these 4-1 defaults on their attack side. Cryo is hard able to hard lurk, really, really late lurk on the Astra. These are the kind of tendencies that you can exploit. Oh, hey, he gets the opener with just the spam through the, the wall there. Yeah, just praying that he maybe catches on to a lurking player. Unless he put us on. A refight. Cut off. Down a. Orb was propped up here, but a spike's been dropped down into no man's land. I mean, how do you regain this one? Stars have to be used to pull and a wall up. Regaining control of this one here, just rattling the bullets back and forth. Yeah, this one's a little bit of an unlucky kind of go next scenario. There. You know, you'll make the best uh, situation out of it. They are still coming in the way. Win. But G2 are great in these spots at not giving up, you know, free peaks. They really force you to win the round and create the advantage. You can see that just from the amount of respect. I mean, you could just draw a line throughout the back of the site, the entirety of the map. Position the G2 are holding. They're here to drop down those. Jonah P now with a plan acknowledged. Yeah, and all of that respect is going to give you them the plan. Four, five, so now the time working three. against G2. But to cry, I think, to be a bit of a playmaker. There's no way in astral form. Bullets is going right underneath him. That sees is monstrous. It's about how these kills come thrown up. <laughs> that is a ghost moment if I've ever seen one. Then on a flood through. Out of the smoke. Fearless. Attempting to adjust makes a decent go of things. But a it was insane actually. Round to start off for G2. 180. Double tip. Just a bit of lucky crosshair placement as Trent picks up the first. And then dismantling the rest of what 100 Thieves were trying to do up oh, towards yeah. Ram. Wow. This was unlucky. Know, that's tough. Good stun afterwards though as well. You know, getting value out of Jonah P's utility there. So that stun line came all the way down ramps. And that's the thing, on this map, one of the things that I think, a lot of the desk focus was talking about 100 Thieves on their defense side, where you can run at Cryo and he feels, it feels like the B site's a bit of a weakness for them. But on the attack side too, 100 Thieves love to group up. They actually death ball around the map with four, sometimes five players, and they've only got, really got one person in another spot. That is so exploitative. Yeah, I think. Like, you can exploit that really easily by, for example, on that pistol round where Jonah P walked down mid and was able to get a stun across a different latitude just because he knows it's going to be safe. Probably facing that position here with a nade into the corner. Quick hops. Up and around. But you're right. It's a lot too exploited if you've been doing your homework and you're at least aware of it and they're aware of that. Just hoping to make something happen up towards the ramp angle. Asana. Yeah, and I think that's already showing you that good awareness. Yeah. Asana gets taken out as the final oh. player, but the, the way nice that Thieves play on this map, nice shot, I see. always have somebody Almost always have somebody hard lurking, and it's either bang over Plain towards A, round. or it's cryo towards B, or often, more often, towards mid. And cryo's really, really late, whereas bang tends to be a bit more aggro. And listen, if I know this from watching the nice board, shots. Oh my G2 god. Been putting in the word. Jacob, son. They're gonna know that as well. <laughs> what was that at the end? That's his honorific. Okay. You must refer to him as that. <laughs> I will not. I will not be doing that. Uh, <laughs> let's get into the bonus round. Let's see bonus. So stun, take control, easy ult orb, and icy gets the showstopper. Hundred thieves take a bit of mid control, and Valen's gonna. The showstopper will be insane. And all of that information over towards B main. The showstopper can make difference. A lot of noise being made. Yeah, but nobody really in position to hear that. At least Leaf spotting it out. So. Now no to the Prowler, giving them side control. G2 understanding the strengths really of how you really want to play this one. They haven't given up heaven control. And now seeking to actually refight potentially over Ram. They send the Prowler forwards as this plan is going down. And this is one of those rounds where you're worried about where is Cryo. I mean, look at what Valen is up to over here. He's literally waiting for Cryo to walk up mid. He doesn't realize this is one of the few rounds where the Astra's not in a lurk. I'll send it forwards now. Showstopper in the hands of Icy Satchel's through and around. Finds it. Asana will drop him, though. And to the other side of things. Lovely dodge and a flash here. And a refight contention. Hunter Thieves calling at all the right timings. Regaining that heaven position and control. Plenty of bullets left for Trent to work with here, but with the pull, 
No chance, no possibility anymore. Got to be it's taken away. All the wing yeah, but... dropped. That's the power of this 100 Thieves composition. You don't Good want bonus. to tell a player like Cryo. You'll be Good able up. to just stall it out in that long term of all that utility. Yep. But here's the, here's the question. Good they bonus. don't know that Valin was looking for Cryo they have the to whole win round. This yeah. round. The Thieves were on A. They have no way of knowing <clears> that Valin was aware of that. Does... Does 100 Thieves proactively, preemptively stop going for those lurks? Thinking that G2 might punish them? Or are we actually going to see that game plan rewarded later on down the line? Here we see our first big rifle round. Previously, there was a stun over in this area and they took B main control on defense. This time it's only Valin home towards B. Though he will have snake bites thrown in from Leaf if it goes into a B pop. Very little noise being made though. And it's a very weak site on defense at the moment. Just the way Split goes on the defense side, you end up playing retake more often than not. Smoke drop, just based off the feelings of the getting that this is coming through. I mean, spam down and spray down. The orb is delayed. So Valen, he could take that sideline. Heaven wasn't smoked off. Asana seeks to just Ooh. even out the exchange. He'll do so successfully. Already retreating now. To this is not good. Position. This is not looking good for G2. 4 v 4 but this yeah. is not good for them. They lose this round. Nade, paranoia. Lots of fade utility available. Oh, this. The nade is going to miss him though. Just tucks it behind as well. And then on the oh, no. Right from the side. He is blinded up. Flashed up. Yeah. Matters not. 100 thieves. Unlucky. This is not good for them. They wanted to just stun that one when that push They're was coming through. Yeah. They got into great postman positions. Even though they lost a player early on. And you're right. That smoke came late. That's all deliberate. Because they don't want to tell that they're about to hit the B site. The thing that they're trying to avoid there is... You know, if they place down a star, or if you see that orb being thrown, it, it just telegraphs. We are going B. So, you, you just know that that hit's coming through. So they're trying to make sure that those kind of signals are not being sent over to the defenders. Yeah. And they get into a good postman position because of it. Pulling that line out when I'm mid-sip of a drink. Trying to get me to spit it up all over the monitor. Um, we are planning to go B. Stop. <laughs> We're hoping to have a good postman. Stop. Cry will be playing postman with his pull. 100 Thieves in this scenario. This is what was throwing them for a loop a little bit. They've gained the advantage when it comes to the economy, but... Find you. Expecting proactive plays from G2 when they're on the weaker buys. They hold for the time being, and they lose the first 45 seconds. You can see that Valen's actually putting a pretty, pretty large premium on getting info over towards B main. And that's allowing them to get these kind of stack setups going over on A. A jiggle peek from Jonah P, although he's actually holding it with the Marshal. But once he takes one shot with the Marshal, he can drop off fault line. Ooh, unlucky. Yeah, exactly that. Sends it flying stun. Minor connection at least going to be pushing him back and away. Jonah P, be aware of this. Bullets are certainly flying through here. And they do clean up the available players that were there just trying to contest and tango. And there was a ramp angle. And honestly, these are good setups that could get them value on rifle rounds, but when the economy is bad here for G2, 100 Thieves are running them over. Yeah. That, that was a two-player fight over towards ramp. If those G2 players have rifles and they get into a spot like that, I think they've got great chances of pulling around some defense rounds. They go G2. But unfortunately, 100 Thieves are not opting into these kind of setups when things are even. They're building up a ridiculous ult back. They're about to come into the next with four out of five ults online. And three of them are to help them take space on a site. Nightfall, Showstopper, Thrash. These are all used to put pressure onto the defending players. I think this oh is my god, the ultis? I didn't really recognize that, but only really they have Thrash, they have those Showstopper, they have Viper, yeah, they have Fate. The and again, have a look oh at my how god. Tells 100 Thieves are going to try to use here. They're making it feel like it's going through mid. Nightfall, Smoke, and so many connections. They're not going to be able to hear anything that this is yeah. colliding. Yeah, they don't know the they are on B. Hit drop down after strike. I should deny the plant. I'm gonna knife force a fast blood attempt. Ready to trail. Point them in the right direction. But I see he's to take the process. Bullets flying, That's and it comes down to chance. Okay. Flip a coin almost. Fine, then huge. Successful tail. Good job. Security take. All in just. Fuck them well up. Balanced. Again, good job, good job. We're seeing, I mean, just sends it sky high, so it gives him Take it on, just a little spot on the legs, enough of yep. spray down finish. That's monumental confidence there. But also, how on earth does Jonah P get that level of value? He killed one with the aftershock. The aftershock was only to deny the plant from yeah. coming through. And somehow got the kill. 
and then with the, like the last bullet before he got yeah well detained, Wallen him him to clutch there steps into it for a second I, th I think that's just his vision being obscured yeah. by the pit yeah bit of anti-synergy there from 100 thieves and they lose the big round that they invested all of those ults for a fast a pot again we're not seeing that classic lurk play not to be deterred are they oh my god the bullets are going crazy right now Ooh. and so is asana Sends it straight to them, at least what the stop, but still holding the angle here with a nade rebound and a follow up and follow through. Oh my god. So basically a five second that was sick clean up. The that round. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. It's not look, looking good for G3 if well, they will play that. like that. When you're not using they have to stop the them sometimes. Mid, that gives you an extra player to do stuff like that, to fight ramp off the back of Asuna's distraction. I think this is a really good audible here. Fight up inside that smoke with the showstopper and then push up ramp. These players are perfectly happy to play those spots as a more passive uh, situation as well and just dual ramp when G2 up. bring it to them. But that aggressive component. One lovely. more. And 100 Thieves might just want to run it back again. Same set so well. Yeah. They had nothing to stop it, but this time they bring players. What are they going to do to prevent it? Okay. Target, the dash in. Okay. G2 well, is going to fight again. Working out for them. Gambles here onto the half by smokes dropping and fading. The cut noise called by 100 Thieves. This time might be able to pave their way to a victory, at least into this round. Damage is definitely done though. Look at Bustio. Slight breeze will bring him down. The players are in it. Nidical series spot. Now they're really expecting this to be a re hit, and they are completely correct. It's a great read. <laughs> He lost it again. It's quite Bye. a nice one. It's going to allow them an avenue to get no away. Spike down. <laughs> and you said nice. a light breeze would bring down Bustio. How about an acid pool at his feet? Um, um, eh? Doing That's a damage it. there. Leaf holding it close. A tap. Cryo seeking for them to push past and through this own cosmic divide. But honestly, Valen can't really hear anything at all. Plant now committed and stuck by Cryo. Getting into it now. Taking a fight oh, straight no. to him. But the IGL dropped. Leaf now. Matters into his own hands, but surely accounted for Nice. Run and gun drive Good. by. Wins it out now. Good hold by. Here in terms of the rounds. Sig hold by. Heard Vanity mention it. Talking about bind, actually. Where he was saying Bustio's style of ice yelling, he loves to run something until you prove that you can stop it. Well, they had a rifle v rifle round where they sent it into A, and then on the anti eco, he decided to call the same thing. And this time, Valen stacked aside and got there into a spot where he could get the kill onto Asna before he got hit by the dizzy. And that makes all the difference. Heavy reads coming out. <laughs> I died, bro. Actually, oh, actually, fun Jim G2. I don't know what to do, just simply be uh, performance of ICO out to Trenta. Extremely. U 100 Ts. Mám rád jenom Asunu. Jinak nějak nikoho. Děj se. Ice is insane, actually. Youngblood. There's a timing. Poison's off. Leaf's trying to cover that timing. Oh, but he gets out util. Oh, yeah, util in the hands. Dash in forwards. Leaf with the satchels blinded up. Look at this. All the senses cut away. And lives on top of it. <laughs> really nice round there from G2. Adding another layer into what they were doing over towards B. Different team from this VCP. Absolutely honestly, different. This B side looks like it should be a little weak, but the way that Valin and Leaf are playing it, they're just on top of all of these little pops in. Yeah. The snake bite timing could not have been better there. I mean, Leaf had his crosshair placed on it and pulled out Util. I thought he might have got timing that Asna could get a shot onto him, but both of those players vulnerable. Valen's able to pick up one of them. 30 seconds left. It looks very difficult for 100 Thieves to be able to get into sights if G2 actually have players hard anchoring. And that shouldn't really be the case against 100 Thieves. They have a lot of firepower, at least to you know brute force their way into these sight hits. So yeah, Ten shouldn't be getting deterred so easily. I mean, having said this, even if they managed to muscle their way past Valen or Leaf, Icy was coming through with a showstopper afterwards. Yeah, didn't end up being that mm -hmm. relevant to be honest. But it would if have I been if the first tips. line of defense had fallen. 
A G2 get out. Já nevidím, že koukáš na Valorant. Elite. We were expecting this final map to be anybody's game. That's what I said at the end of Bind. It felt like Ascent was a must win for G2 because we'd seen such a spectacular record from 100 Thieves on Bind. It looked up. But with that Aww. assumption being incorrect, the game is just broken wide open for anyone mm. to take. And I might mm. even flip it on its head as well. And yeah, some book of Chera. Need a strong start here onto this attack side round. This is book of Chera. Uh, he do absolutely run down. What's going to happen when they get onto the defensive half? I think they need a strong beginning here on their own attack side. Fast ramp take, but a fake. They're trying to draw absolutely run down crew. Bustio's called them to make noise, make it feel like Asen is taking this position. And you can see that that's just opened up the B site. Pulled them off and away here. There's still Heaven players, G2. Two bullets. Cloud Knight also. Across. They just run them, run them down. This is, gonna up, this is gonna end up being a retake situation here where Jonah P has this. Hmm, teďka ale to, teď jsou ty ranky trošku jinak. So an Oni zvýšili ranky. A každý, kdo byl třeba Ascendant, tak dostal o 200 RR dolů, jakoby. Nice. Look at this. They're absolutely different team. Young kid Icy is dominating. They were thinking, right, well, we get breach ulted, but we throw our thrash out and everyone's and gonna And Trend is uh, gonna go for it. one of the best initiatives I saw, fish, actually. Really get everybody. And so, as the thrash came out... I'm a fan of Sen. ...all over the top of it. And then even catches the free one on to Busio, who's challenging in Zolt. Oh, it's locked in. It's beautiful, yeah. the way that G2 are playing. And that player, the X Factor for G2, a player that uh, we haven't really seen those big performances until the playoffs. Icy is stepping up again, 14 and 5. Mm. Finding impact with the operator, which he doesn't use very often. I think he's only got about 2% playtime with the op. Around that, which is really low for like a star duelist player. Oh, but we have heard tales told of what he's been able to do in scrims. And up until these last few matches, they were just tall tales. Oh yeah, and now we're seeing it in reality. It's whispers and rumors of what to expect, honestly. Honestly, I mean, you could say that for both of these teams as well. We've heard the same stuff about Cryo. And he has been, at least, uh. they played into the playoffs, performing up to a high level. Not right now, though. Not really set up for success when he's in this spot. Full by versus full by. Yeah, struggling Let's see. to get involved, I think, as well, when he's yeah, this relegated is, to this role. This is definitely his toughest to have to take it. impact. Yeah. He can sometimes come out with insane rounds when he's anchoring B, but... If they hit me, Could he be actually has spot. to come out with the insane rounds. But that's a story for a couple of rounds time. There is pretty available. At the moment, they're looking to still try to put some on the board. Yeah, he will, he will beat it. And this is a lovely ult. Spills all the way down mid. Mm, yeah, Fnatic doesn't have a lot. I've never seen him. No one's taking that space. Ani, Ani, Ani. And he's pretty bold to be able to get back into position. In CS. In theory, those hundred thieves players could be fairly deep inside the alt, so Leaf's gonna be paranoid for a little while. Little group up called that all of them by Prison Tain. Cover going out. All hands on deck as they approach this A site. Valen. No, they believe me sympathetically. Anchoring in the L spot. Jonah P. Silent jump spot. There's to some your rats and all of my stuff. As the wall comes up, the bullets are that zero connection. I mean, boost you up. Still alive. Yeah, just took one by the look of it. But it still made no noise. And Valen gets into a hard anchor position. This is what has been ruining some of the team's Send it, fly forwards here. How do you do now? Until fault line will delay. Stunted them away. Plants. Gonna be sent flying as well with Wingman, but that's gonna be denied and delayed. Again, it's almost inevitable at this point. Valin doesn't smoke himself off in the usual spot. Valin coming clutch again. To plan himself. Find him in the committal. Satchel round, but no one to play off of this one. It's delayed in the process. That's not right. There was an attempt there by Bustio, but it's just being picked apart. Yeah. The seams. You can see that there, they are just different from other other games. When I see they don't come to them. The prep. It looked like there was Everything has no changed. way that they were going to be able to pull out this kind of performance on map one. 
But then throughout Bind and now here on Split, you're seeing They're all playing the so hard good. work that G2 have put in. Actually, this is VCT. And it's the same kind of strengths we saw when they beat Crew. Getting Valen into that position. Mm, really anglicky, protože to půjde na YouTube. And having Valen be unexpected on the Building up on top of each other to result in G2 running away with this half. Ish. We're gonna make it nice and pretty. An 8-4 finish, but 100 thieves. I want to call it desperation just yet. Anything could happen. They do need this round win. This is one of the few rounds where we've seen Cryo playing away from the rest of the squad. He's not gone for a lurk play like this basically the entire time. Round 12, first one where he brings it out. We know that G2 were aware of it early, but have they lost that because of the conditioning of 100 Thieves going for five person hits? Still, it's only Leaf just seeking to gather a bit of that information. Try and ward him away with a few bullets. They're thinking that this mid take is still a fake because 100 Thieves have not actually gone into mid with bodies this whole half. So Bustio's really trying to change things up here to get the fifth on the board. Very orchestrated opening. This would have taken Mayo control with only 44 seconds left. It's really playing to this round. This might be the danger zone for 100 Thieves. Got to get a move on, and it has to be quick. They've got so many players to deal with. I mean, G2, look at them tucked to the corners. They're pivoting. The, the fake ult by Valin as well. Yeah, the that ulted. fake ult and now are thinking, okay, maybe from Valin. Maybe the I just want to see to be, say that. And they're going to end up heading back into this duo of Valin and Jordan It's insane bait. Exactly right, fault line. Delaying them even Actually, further. it's There's insane bait. Seconds left in the round. They have to get a move on. Util expended 12 seconds left lit up over beacons just trying to Round is over. into the site the only chance of a win but it's being dismantled G2 a complete fundamental understanding of what 100 thieves are trying to achieve Tady to vidíš prostě That's amazing Oni jsou oni hrajou strašně dobře ale jako strašně actually go into mid with heavy presence The fact that G2 still had the read on it and still managed to win the mind games and come out on top five rounds in a row at the end of the half and look at this, this is from Valen earlier, what you were calling out. Call. Yeah, the just, fake call. He just cancels it immediately. Yeah, this is insane. The sound cue if anyone was close, but there's no way anyone was able to hear that. And it baited 100 Thieves into coming back into that paranoia and stun combo with the aftershock. It's so good. But the calling has just been sublime. To nevím, to jak si. To hear what they make so far. Já znám jenom Asunu, já jsem viděl pár jeho jako klipů a takhle, ale nikdy jsem jako... Nikdy jsem neviděl nějak jako... Její koms nebo takhle. Love to hear it. Hey, I've got to, I've got to put this back in front of you guys. Let's, let's revise something we looked at earlier in the show. Maybe, maybe take the whole thing with this team. Dude, we versus G2. I don't want to be too mean, but we, we versus G2 tomorrow. We will absolutely not lose that match. They are not good. <laughs> so we will destroy G2 tomorrow. 100%. And you're okay if we use yeah. this footage mm -hmm. again? Please use it. Okay. Please use it after I beat them as well. 100%. Yeah, we will destroy them. And yeah. Again, and again. And yeah. Again. And again, eight to four half here, G2. Gang, looking pretty dominant so far on split. Yeah, I mean, G2 have had a great start to this map. I think the calling in particular from Fallon has just continued to be sublime from that first map. The way they're playing this defensive side has really set them up to continue this upset run that they've been on thus far. I mean, I said it in the pregame. I think they're just gonna run a cryo all half with breach fade, and good luck, I guess. That's the scary part. We actually saw G. I mean, uh, Hunter Thieves find some success hitting that B site, right? But Valum was more than happy to play off of it. And then Jonah P has like a rolling thunder. They had this sick re retake util just to get back in there. But Hunter Thieves have really proved to be strong at coming back into these games. They're a very experienced squad, and Lucio's <laughs> gotta back up his words. He is Parmish. talking mad trash so <laughs> and this is chance to prove it. Really, there's so much on the line in this game. The winner of this second half has a massive massive advantage into the finals two bands and a real chance to get that advantage heading into shanghai how do you protect cryo from being run up on on this half shoot them I just guess, bring bang <laughs> do you yeah, so group up with cryo or not the biggest reason they made the comment on the weakness in 100 thieves defense side yeah. and they're looking to abuse it so i think boost you are smart enough to realize that it is a crucial point in the game. So let's head over. Vanna, the IGL in the rest of his team, just shoot him. I mean, that's my IGL right there. That's my IGL. That's what you want to hear. But but also that is 
so important to take a look at how B is defended because that has been a weakness for Hunter Thieves yeah. and one they need to be reinforcing. But G2 are headed to the opposite side of the map to start us out on the pistol round. Not just that, I've got my own concerns as well. Just on Hunter Thieves' performance so far, this entire series, defensive halves, yet to win a retake. Yeah, that's... be put to the test. I mean, there's no nice map time. better for it, I think, than split. Ah. It's going to test your ability to fight on a retake. Tough one though, still sending it flying forwards here is G2. I have access to this one, Bustio. This is insane. They are so coordinated, but it's unreal. For real, it's unreal. How coordinated they are. What is their plan? I mean, Jonah P still has two flashes and an aftershock here. I don't know what his game plan is to get value out of that in the post ban. See first the nade. Step, stop them coming out of screens. Yeah, at least the nade just to cut off that close corner angle that there could have been. The player holding, it's a double call. And a face up here by G2, but backing away now is Icy. Still with that smoke to divide and conquer portions of the map. And an essential pistol round, it needs to go Ooh. all the way to 100 Thieves. But only two to stand and two to make it possible. EU circumventing all of this one, but with time ticking already. It spells the feed out for them. Look at this, look at this. They are just coordinated. Great. They are just better. This series, they're in the driver's seat for sure. Our first Never be alone. Global event. And we thought they were out of it after map one. I mean, obviously the desk. They know about every utility they throw. Trash, but obviously that's not to clown on Boostio. I think it's just to also showcase. If you had asked any of us, you saw it with all of our predictions as well. Everybody here predicted 100 Thieves to win the game. They look That's like true. a better team coming That's out. That's true. And G2, this resurgence has happened so late on. Everybody think about Just 100 Thieves that, that will win. Honestly, I don't really know what to... You know, who to hold accountable, like but I believe board, right? that G2 will prove I think probably some part of it, the this spot and they will win this. Team. I think they've also been a squad that likes They're already in shot guy. Another team is already in shot guy. They're qualified, but after winning you know, North America, they've been a team that steps up. <coughs> VCT in America is like VCT in America. Players, yeah. right there. It's something. Exactly what you want, but there's a time to come alive. Okay. Now, Bustio, just the two before he's eventually dropped. A lot of space gained here for Leaf. He's looking to try and cut up these angles. But the damage done to Asana. I'm gonna give this one up for now. Plant tapped. No response though from 100 Thieves. One HP Asuna. One hit, one kill. As soon as 100 Thieves make the first signs of life, right there. Cover going Sends out. out the waves of the U-Tilt. Still no casualties, but again, it's going to have to be miracle shots. Is Asana going to be that miracle maker? Not quite. Enemy remaining. They didn't get it. The scene's going to be fading to black here. EU, no chance. Just with the Bucky in his hand, he's even having to resort to the sidearm. And so 10 to 4. Six rounds down, 100 Thieves are going to find themselves. But it looked like... They were primed after map one to be able to get themselves into our grand finals. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Just being able to get that. This is going to be a long run back if they want any chance of being able to recover this one. Otherwise, G2 are looking like even with leaving bind in the pool, they've got that quality now. I mean, it's masterful adaptations, i got to say, beginning to end. I think mean, they've come into this with pretty clear game plans, don't get me wrong, like Ascent, uh, they got washed, right? But onto Bind especially, the ideas they were throwing into the mix, uh, throwing 100 Thieves for a loop, I think, and now, look at the split. <laughs> now we get to see 100 Thieves on a rifle round, and then it's not Cryo anchoring B. So G2 are going into a B split, trying to put pressure on Cryo, he's not here. A lot of noise and Utah thrown out though. Not really hiding the fight, are they? Bang just wants to take the fight. To these angles as well, just dodging this Utah. I know Trent is locked up into the corner. Eventually dealt with. <laughs> yes, it's still here. <laughs> Got a dodge and duck. All around this one, tiptoeing. The available Utah that sent flying. G2. We get the one kill, but it's still just two of them left alive. I think that's a fantastic read. It's the secondary setup that 100 Thieves go for, where Cryo goes and anchors over towards A. 
It's not a standard setup, but it's a good one for throwing teams for a loop. Alan just making a call Spike there for a bit down, of a contact B. play. And this one, not even really going to be that great of a bonus round. Leaf gets a final. You got one. But three rifles saved for 100 Thieves, and they get a very important fifth on the board. Yeah. The more they can mix up how their defense looks, the more difficult it's going to be for Valent to cook up ideas of how to attack that weakness in the game. Because I, I do completely agree with the analysis about this, that that cryo hardcore anchor defense on B is the weakness. But if, if they're not playing that, and you look at the minimap again, they're not playing it again. It's cryo over towards A again. Jo, jo, so, so. To říkám, oni hrajou úplně jinak. Jako poslední VCD. A i Madrid, jak byli, oni hrali úplně, já nevím, to bylo až směšné, já, já jsem koukal tady jenom proti Sentinels, když hráli a takhle jo, ale ty vole, to bylo směšné, já jsem koukal jenom na Sentinels, ale fakt to bylo směšné oproti tomu, jak hrajou teďka, tak jako actually, to jak dostali přes píči od Sentinels, tak si myslím, že teďka by jako měli dost velkou žanci. Jako ta koordinace je jich tady insane. No. Mně se zdá, že v Madridu nebyl iš, že byl Icy z začátku, že to bylo, že byl krátce. Že byl novej. A nebyli tak sehraní. A předtím vlastně Icy tam vůbec nebyl, že jo? A jestli je mladý klučina, který šel do pro teďka. On měl jako dobrý individuální staty, ale, ale nehrál dobře jako tým. No. A teďka je úplně krásně vidět. Jsou koordinovaní jak prase. Valen je insane AGL. A trend, ty vole, ten... Insane. Unlucky for I see. G2 keep hitting the strong sight of hundred thieves. Valens attack side calling has been excellent on bind, but yeah, I see. I see. Kusev has shown that he is going into že individuálně hraje hrozně dobře a když kolem něho jako postaví Trenta a Valina a všechny tyhle a Valin bude poslouchat, co říká, teda tr, až si bude poslouchat, co říká Valin, tak klidu. Oni fakt, fakt jako hrajou dobře. A G2 are taking a tactical time out here. That's why, you know, EU is feeling good about things. Three rounds in a row there for 100 Thieves to make this more of an even game. Start to build up the economy, a bit of a cushion for them to work with. But G2 got to start thinking about how to get a read on where the holes are. Yeah. If they've done a lot of preparation into figuring out what the standard setups look like and suddenly 100 Thieves swap it up, Tohle je třeba poprvé, co vidím G2 za posledních pět mečů použít timeout. Poprvé. Za pět mečů. Matchupu, ne me, jakože map, ale me, jako matchup. Poprvé. Oni prostě chcou tu, tu trofy, že jo, tady z tohohle uh, kvalify. <laughs> A kill, of course, but yeah, it's a good one for the post. You could cook something up as well. Get a little bit fancy with a night four, Valen with an alt. But this is actually the first round where we see rifles online and hundred thieves have their standard setup with cryo solo anchoring B. And the thing that makes this a bit of a potential weakness is that he hard anchors from either like back positions or somewhere close as well. Hundred thieves have been doing a lot of conditioning that they haven't been playing that setup. 
And G2 are trying to slow the pace down. This looks like they're trying to get a bit more info to me. Here. Prowler comes down. Position of EU pinged out just based on where the Prowler came from. What do they want to default into? Have the ults. Leaf. Taking a timing. Players are pretty split right now from G2 in terms of where they're looking to go. I mean, the first 40 seconds and they haven't taken any map control apart from B main. Yeah. It, it's slow, but it's actually not gathering information. Toxin screen down. P making a long trek back with the spike in his hands. Over towards A, looks like that's where they want to end. They want to try and fake B presence here with a nightfall. Face your fear! Alt as well, maybe they get that connection online. Is it enough to sell it? Thrash! Force. Look, so look at this. All the way out. Really it is. Everybody rotates. Everybody. And that's what he's trying to do. Lands a shot somehow, somewhere. Snake bite. Pushing back once more from even being able to take that spot here. Asim with a rocket. Ready to land. Oh, and find nice. Straight through. Not able to collect the kill. And wide open, but a taking. Pull it straight to the head. Leaves under out. a lot of pressure. He's the one with the spike. He had to retrieve it off Jonah P's dead it. body. Of course, 10, 10 seconds left. left. Spikes out nowhere, down, man. Eight. And you have to clear up these players here and now. Running away. No the time. Wind dosh I mean, it's just realized, isn't it? No. <laughs> as soon it was as so good. Made, they have no time. EU sprints his way out of there. Oh, you know, my God. Is, all of this happened because EU got that random headshot onto Jonah P. He it was so close. Oh, my God. But he killed the player with the spike, and so the spike got dropped way behind everybody else. That was yeah. time for. That was unlucky. That was actually unlucky. This was unlucky. Yeah. A random shot, absolutely random. That starts an unfortunate series of events. Still surprisingly, so G2. I've got money to spend. Still the investments and crucially alts. And this is the first time we're seeing them shove it into cryo. Yes, into the exit, no bro. He just takes up the position, dictating the direction of the round with that one. I mean, this guy, not to be removed. As soon as a showstopper play fails, it's a cancel call by G2. Dominating the smoke really early on. And I see anticipating them to be playing further back or towards default. <sighs> Didn't think to predict shot into that. G2 forced to wrap things around. They're trying to give as few kind of notices as possible to their opponents. So they're not even using util to clear these or putting smokes down. Bang's just holding a snake by though. As soon as he sees one player, surely lets it rip. Just no punish on the jump spot. Flying forwards here. Bit of vulnerability here. It's Jonah P. Haunt as well. Doesn't know these players. A lot tight, close to the corner again. Asana. He's always in hell. Asana yep. is always in hell. to account for it. Still gets the one. It's covered on the cross. Cryo. He deletes. No, this is not looking good. Come on, G2. I trust you there. Come on. It's not working in reality. Theory is one thing. Let's rip this kid. Let's rip them. Come on. They've knocked G2 back down to another eco. I'm telling you, Asna is always in that exact same position, and I think Valen knew it. Oh, sorry, Jonah P knew it. He just couldn't win the duel. Yeah. When Crow's holding across there as well, I mean, any chance of follow up from the team? I think Denied. the timing has to be perfect there. You have to be sending people through heaven at the same time as B main, and it just wasn't there for G2. This is another. Let's go, G2. Like it's going to be sent into Cryo. 100 Thieves not really worried about the money here. Flying forwards! Oh my god. Yeah, just slowing him down enough for it. Asana no, 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 on the high ground. The second what one is going on. I mean, he got his two kills. He got the nade back. And... Why face, though? Maybe overzealous in nature here from the 100 Thieves players, but Spike still dropped down. So G2 not going to have easy access to it. Right there. Right there. Look at this crossfire. Weaving in and out there, just trying to not make it too damn easy. Get the kill here, Leaf. You do have to be a little cautious because Leaf has his ult. It's a 1v2. Drop down though. Should be the high low setup. If he tries to swing to try and take out Bang, Bustio is going to be there to just pump some lead straight back at him. Now he knows the position of both of them. Definite intelligence on display, but only seven bullets to really do it. He goes for the widest face in the world. I do respect it. But it's 10 to 10. Nice try. These are right back in this one. They brought it back. An 8-4 half. And we were thinking Boosty, I might have to eat humble pie. 
Instead, smashes it right back in Valen's face. Standing. It's quick on it, Lee. I mean, definitely made a decent go of things here, but at this point, the 100 Thieves have set themselves up in... I mean, enough money, they could bankroll a Fortune 500 company. They're not going to be running out of any guns anytime it. soon. It's essentially going to be full buys full buy. from here on out into the tail Let's end go. of this series. Asner and Cryo play together to take B main control at the start of this one. They've inserted Valen. Top of the scoreboard, 20 kills across 20 rounds. Valen's trying his best to get things over the line. But while the aim is working here, the attack side calling hasn't quite been as effective as it was on Vine, where it looked like he was just inside the 100 Thieves comms, basically. You can really tell we're getting into the untested territory, I suppose, of the map pool for both of these teams. Yeah, and also the part where theory doesn't work as well as you thought it would. Yeah. So you're having to do more of that improving. Let's go, you two. Now, you got Valen it. I was hoping here that there would be some kind of aggressive reclear and could pick it up, perhaps. It's really been nothing like it. Still, Lucio. He's touched to the corner. Ooh. Do they have some safety here? Has to be pre fight. Surely, no way, no way. Everything dodged to the void from a single shred of utility to hunt him down. Oh my god. Pick him out of place. Just as one gets out of there. Bandit behavior. The ball was insane. A chance. Asana sent it flying forwards with the rocket. No kill there. What is going on? Huh? Cancels it in the moment. What the hell is occurring? Cryo to respond. 1v2. The pit's still up. Knife is out. Cryo. Seeking a better angle into all of this here with a ball. It's watched. The trend. Good job. Good job. They are back. They are back. Let's go. Two rounds. Come on. That's the only thing that to me one more, one more pull by. I think he must have just Here go boys. Fat fingered his escape key or something in the middle of that moment. But it also, happens. I'm a little confused why he didn't try to send the rocket on the players close to him. He double blast packed over to try to go towards the plant. And another situation, Brent. Again, there are no retakes here for hundred thieves. They're winning on the defense side, so. You know, you don't want to complain about it, but stopping the plant from going down in the first place, though, right? Right, exactly. It's the kind of plant denial stuff. It's stuffing them in the t into the choke point. If G2 are getting into post plants, they are winning in this series. And 100 Thieves are going to take a timeout maybe to remedy that kind of thing. I think this is another good opportunity coming out of the t timeout to change up either the pace of what you're doing or the defense setups again. If you're looking at things from the perspective of 100 T. If they can try to work some kind of set play in this round, they have a set play that Let's they go go where they yeah. util dump A main. They send a horn over the top, mosh pit, yeah. and they go super aggro in that area. And what's odd is though, 100 teams haven't been going for as many proactive plays on their defense no. sides. And, and G2 have been holding for it. Exactly. I think they're already respecting the fact that G2 are a slow team that are looking to try to punish. But again, this is, this is again not going to be that aggression on defense. But they're putting both initiators in B heaven, which is a different setup. Money getting tight here for G2. This is going to be a pit off the rip from Bang. It's an unusual position. You don't really see this one too often. And he dies. gets dropped. Instantly. Oh my god. I mean, it's just got to be spam, I think, right? You've got to think so. Asin is trying to dodge. This one tucked. And he's betrayed even by a shoulder or one. Oof. I'm not too Oof. sure, but tucked out. There was an awareness there from G2, and now they're just going to be sending it. Bustio, he understands it. He's going to try and make a play and make it now. Assailed in his position. Can he really push them and ward them back? The IGL is doing his best. There's two really going to be enough now for them. Spike planted. There's opportunities for sure. 100 Thieves. They're not grouped up together here. It's EU and Cryo, and Cryo's still... Hunting around for these players, Valen just donates no. one to him, pops up right into him, I see! No! Gun, but a job, and just like that, it's turned on its head, Leaf. Left to clutch it all, damage there, what Let's a go. shot! And the fadeaway from it, E with the tap, Leaf in the open! Uh. Immaculate positioning! Nice try. Bustio's on his feet again, but the score is still tied. And that round absolutely looked like G2 were going to make it to match point. It took heroics from 100 Thieves to get into this spot. Icy kind of gave the game away a little bit. He's hiding. I mean, I say Icy gave the game away. So did Valen. 
but that combo up in heaven allowing them to get into a spot where Leaf had to play a 1v2, it, it should never have gotten to that point. Yeah. A bit of a fumble there from G2, and they're going to take attack time out. There's going to be nerves in these kind of spots for sure. These are not players who've made history of getting deep into big tournaments like this and being sent to Masters events. This is not your, you know, storied players like we have on Loud or NRG, but those players didn't make it this time. It's the fresh blood up from Ascension. People that have been there in the past, but not, not often and not recently for either of these teams. Yeah, just one-offs. That's a tail, and I'll see you both of these orgs, I think, just seeking a bit of redemption with the cores of their rosters. And for 100 Thieves as well, expectations have always been high, but they've never really been able to meet them up until now, this new era of Valorant. Like you said, the young bloods, the fle I mean, just fresh players, really. They have been in these spots before, but so long ago that it's never been consistent. And for this G2 core, you think back to it, I mean, yes, they made history. They've already made Shanghai. They got over that initial hurdle. But you're going to want to see them take it all the way, honestly. Really show us what they've got up their sleeves. 11 to 11. The go G2. Come on. Not just an even Two round rounds. To push you got it. Further, one that absolutely destroys the G2 economy. They're coming into this one with two hero rifles, yeah. a phantom and a bulldog. But otherwise, you're expecting the 100 Thieves should be able to convert this one and get up to match point. I mean, it needs hero plays and perfection, I think, in terms of the calls that are being made. Bang. Fault line. It does tag with a stun, but no one from G2 is looking to even sniff in that direction. They are making their way back over towards A. Looking to try to mess with the way that Bustio's seeing the game here. If they can pull people over towards A, one and done. perhaps they can start to go in the opposite direction. I mean, the spike is still outside B. That's not spotted. Surely got to get out of here. And yes, oh, Nightfall committed. Aftershock on top of it. But an all for an all here. EU also expending one of his own. Full rotations. The Hunter Thieves teaming scattered on the defensive half, but they have a level of awareness here. Bustio calling, not for the over rotation. They've realized that it's a fake presence. And now Thrash is really going to be putting an end directly to these troubles. It spells it out. With Val entertained, everybody making their way over towards this one. It's desperation. Evident now from G2. And how do you come up with anything when 100 Thieves have full awareness of what you're up to? 30 seconds left. Running your way through the util, seeking to disrespect it. Again, the anchor in positions at the back of the site. Shutting mm. them down with rifles in hand. 100 Thieves. One not to be denied. Remaining. That 12th round on the board. They are going for overtime Even anyway, so. The position known and noted. One more round. Last chance. Do it. Last full buy. One more round between them and an enormous map V2 advantage. An impossibility for anyone to take bind away from them. Except within the server as G2 did today. Chances for them to skip the Swiss stage of Shanghai. Cement their spot in playoffs. If they're able to win this tournament. And what a comeback it has been. Each one of these three on, maps you has been so extraordinarily different in the second half. The first two maps even and then one team taking control. And here we go, G2 maybe looking to accelerate a little bit because it's a group up in mid. No ults to work with, half armor on a multitude of targets, Bustio knows it. He's got the outlaw on his hands, rifle nearby. But you're right, this is a bit of exploration from G2 down into mid and this is the entirety of the series. Being distilled and defined down to one moment, bang. Looks like he wants to make a go of things here, surely you don't just push up right past them! The oh no. It's over. It's over. A pretty one painted by this 100 Thieves squad. And they've just left it to Leaf and Valin. 55 seconds on the mark. Bustio is going wandering, exploring out into the open. Might just spot these players falling. Yeah. And just like that. Over. Good job. Good job, but close one. Actually, close one. GG.